Dark Side is one of the most iconic and powerful villains in the DC Universe. Created by the legendary Jock Kirby, he made his debut in Superman's Spell, Jimmy Olsen, number 134, back in 1970. As the tyrannical ruler of the fiery dystopian planet Apocalypse, Darkseid stands in stark contrast to the utopian new genesis ruled by High Father. Known by his real name, Hooksas, Darkseid wields immense power, including superhuman strength, endurance, and intellect. His most fearsome ability is the Omega Effect which allows him to unleash Omega Beams from his eyes, capable of erasing beings from existence, teleporting, and manipulating matter and energy. Darkseid's ultimate goal is to conquer the universe and eradicate free will by obtaining the anti-life equation. This relentless pursuit puts him at odds with many of DC's greatest heroes especially Superman and the Justice League. Throughout the years, he has been central to major storylines like The Great Darkness Saga, Final Crisis, and The Dark Side War. Dark Side presence extends beyond the comic pages, appearing in animated series such as Super Friends, Justice League, and Superman the Animated Series. His menacing character was also brought to light by Ray Porter in the Snyder Cut of Justice League 2021. Darkseid's creation by Jock Kirby added a profound layer to the DC Comics universe, enriching its mythos with cosmic and multiversal dimensions. As the embodiment of ultimate evil and tyranny, Darkseid remains a formidable and compelling foe challenging the very essence of heroism in the DC Universe. Hey you everyone! Welcome back to my channel. Today, we are going to take a deep dive into one of DC Universe's supreme villain. In the known DC multiverse, one name stands above all others when it comes to supreme villainy. Dark side. Let us start by taking a look at the packaging. The front of the box states DC Multiverse Dark Side. It has a huge clear window that enables us to see the figure and all that comes with it. The right side of the box states McPerlin Toys DC Multiverse Dark Side DC Classic. The left side of the box continues the clear window from the front and states McPerlin Toys DC Multiverse Dark Side. Finally, the back of the box shows an amazing art of the character's classic look from the comics. That is it for the packaging, so let us crack this open and see if McPerlin did justice in classic Dark Side's action figure form. The figure stands at 9 inches or 23 centimeters. For accessories, the figure comes with an alternate neutral head sculpt and it looks wonderful. It may be a neutral head sculpt, but man, this looks menacing. This is definitely dark side. Two alternate hands aside from the set of closed fists that I now have on him. Standard McPerlin art card with a short biography of the character at the back. And the standard McPerlin base or stand that has a DC logo. Now, let's take a closer look at the figure. First thing I notice is that compared to the art card, which is supposed to be the source material that they use for this for designing this figure, they use a lighter shade of blue 
I'm not sure if it is showing in the camera as compared to the darker shade of blue that is in the art card. I don't know why McFarlane tend to lean towards a lighter color, but this is the same thing that they did when they released Doomsday in that two pack. However, they nailed it on the skin tone. They also added some light washing of dark gray. I'm not sure if it is showing in the camera, which turned out perfectly. On the blue portion of the costume though, there's no dark shading, so it looks too clean or plain to me. Uh, when this figure was first revealed, I couldn't figure, you know, I couldn't quite figure out what fell off. But now I see it. Uh, the blue costume is just too clean or plain to me. Uh, it needs some dark shading, especially for classic costumes like this that have less texture and detail. Uh, a little dark washing would, you know, would make it more visually interesting. I love that the wired cape does not only have wires on the side, but also at the bottom. It makes it more posable. And I also like, I also love that the D emblem is a separate molded piece. The head sculpt with the Omega Beam coming out of his eyes is a great addition since this is Darkseid's trademark ability. Now let's go with articulation. Uh, I would like to note though, for my copy, the joints are crazy tight, especially in this elbow. I thought I was going to break it the first time I tried to move them. Uh, might need some heating up to loosen them up. For the head articulation, the range is pretty limited. I guess it's because of the shape of the head. See, yeah, range is pretty limited for the head sculpt. I don't know why McFarlane keep doing this to their mega pig. They keep giving them, you know, single single joint elbow with just a rotation here. I mean, this is a big figure, so why not give it a double joint elbow and a bicep cut? He has no abdominal cut, but he does have waist rotation, which same thing, as I said, is crazy tight. For the leg articulation, there's that for the tie, double jointed, man, so this, like this one, this is too tight, I cannot move it right now. Let's try it on the other side, I might need to heat that up. There, so that's the range of the leg, the legs to joint knee. And then he does have an ankle rocker. And he has toe articulation. Again, guys, the joint in my copy, I'm not sure if it's just my copy or this is an issue at all. They are too tight. He cannot. He can only, yeah, I don't know, I can only move his leg forward that far until that the diaper gets in the way. And then he can only move his leg that far until that diaper gets in the way. And he can do the bend them up to that. So that's it for the articulation. Okay, guys, per your request, I'll do some height comparison in my video. Although, you know, guys, my stand when it comes to McParlane's scaling, I've already given up on it because I don't think that scaling is even in McParlane's vocabulary. Because, yeah, if you are the kind of correct collector who is really, you know, very, who is very, uh, concern when it comes to the scaling of your collection 
stay away from McParlane because you you will be you will be dissatisfied. They they have very poor poor scaling, especially in this DC multiverse line. Anyway, guys, here he is scale. Um, I mean, here he is compared to the newly released Superman, Our Words at War. Here he is with Kryptonite Doomsday. Here he is with Bane. Here he is with Classic Atom, or we can say that basically this is how we scale with uh, any character that uses the Blue Beetle body mold. Here he is with Starfire. Here he is with Smiley Superman, or sorry, I mean Classic Superman. Here he is with Wonder Woman. Here he is with Supergirl. Here he is with First Appearance Batman. Here he is with Hush Batman. Here he is with Rebirth Batman. Here he is with Three Jokers Batman. Here he is with Superboy. Here he is with Kyle Rayner's Green Lantern. And here he is with Al Jordan's classic Green Lantern. And let's compare him to another villain. Here is with the newly released Cyborg Superman. Overall, this is a good looking classic dark side figure as far as the mold is concerned. A little dark shading on the blue portions would have made a huge difference so it doesn't look too clean and plain. McParlin did a good job in providing an alternate head sculpt and hands, but I hope they improve the hand articulation of their mega pigs. You know, in the future, like give them double jointed elbows and a bicep cut. If you've reached this part of my video, thanks a lot. If you like my video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. It really helps a lot. And again, guys, enjoy life and keep collecting.